Hello, collective. Hello, collective. I want to do a reading today for you, Virgos. For my Virgos. Let me give you guys a reading today. So if you're new to my channel, Virgo, welcome. Welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you all. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel. And I hope I can give you a little bit of guidance or something that you need today. Spirit, what is Virgo need to be aware of? What does Virgo need to do today, Spirit Guides? Wondrous universe, you need to walk in beauty. You need to tell yourself you're beautiful. It looks like the planets are aligning for you at the moment. It's a wonderful universe. You're, you're noticing things about the universe. You're walking in your path in beauty. That's what you're doing, Virgo. And it says, you're in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. So you don't have to worry, Virgo. Everything's going as it's supposed to. Just keep that in the flow. Being joyous and and um, happy. And something that you've been worried about. It's, it's smooth sailing from here on out. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Keep climbing that mountain. Keep chugging along. You're gonna you're gonna go after this challenge into this unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So if you've been doing something Virgo, something new and different, and you was wondering if if you was where you needed to be, or if if you're in the right place, you are exactly where you need to be at this moment. Do not doubt it. So you're 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 going into that unknown territory, okay? You might be seeing a lot of little birds around your house. I see one in front of my window right now. One of these little birds right now. It's eating bird seed. <laughs> okay, so this is unknown territory you're about to walk in. Maybe maybe you're meeting someone new or you're going in a new job direction, okay? But what Spirit said under Wondrous Universe Impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. Hey, when that stuff comes in your brain that you know you've already got over them challenges and it's trying to enter in your brain from past mistakes, hey, say no, get out of my damn brain and do not come back. That's what you tell it. That's what that squirrel said. You know, and uh, you got to reflect on your energy and how you show up and redirect that energy back to the universe. Did you hear me? So, um, the reason you wasn't in flow is because you or someone around you was at an impasse. They had a choice to make, maybe. And then here we have miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge like a genie in a bottle. So, uh, miracles are going to occur in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Look at that. Miracles is coming. When you decide to release being at that impasse, not knowing which way, okay? Just keep going forward. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. Oh, I love it. It said mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. Looky there. That's you, Virgo. You are a mystical healer. And look, there's another owl. And you're a high priestess. See the high priestess moon above her head up there? Okay, you're asc ascending them. Keep going forward, mystic healer. Do not stop now because miracles is about to come to your life. Spirit guys, please uh, help this Virgo to stop feeling this or their person to stop feeling this so these miracles can come into their life. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. You just got to remember that little child inside of you and be joyous like a little child and let the, let the light guide you. See that? See the sunlight, Leo? This unknown territory, mystical healer, you bring joy and delight. Oh, isn't that something? Well, I like it right there. I like it a lot. I like it for you, Virgos. Yes, 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 I do. Because, look, you're an earth angel. See, you're an earth angel. I am a guardian of Mother Earth and protect all who live on her. See, that's what you do, Virgo. You're an earth angel, honey. And then we have healer. I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. 
Maybe you use crystals, stones. Maybe you have Indian lineage, feathers, light worker, light worker, healer for the collective. That big bear up there is about your business, uh, being strong in your career, okay? Earth Angel, you're healing at the moment. Keep that grateful attitude. Let me see what else it says. And celebrate life. What is it for me and my collective? Reach for your dreams, healer. You gotta keep reaching for your dreams. What else for my Virgos? What else for my Virgos? And if you like to start work, you can come back here every day, Virgo, if you're new. And... I'll give you a message. I change things up. I'm going in the flow and not putting myself in it. Abundance 36. We got 34, 8, 36. Them numbers may be of importance to you, Virgo. It says, I am grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life. I am grateful for the abundance and nature and the universe that provides for me in my life. Be grateful every day for what you have. And that's number 36, remember? So there's abundance coming to you, healer. You you and your earth angel. <laughs> oh, I love that. Because you all reached for your dreams. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. Because you're grateful. Look, you're grateful. And look, you celebrate life. You celebrate life. Uh, you respect all life and Mother Earth, and you know how to find your bliss in the present. In the present moment, somebody might need to embrace change. I move easy, easily and confidently through the changes in my life. So you can go through this crystal ascension. I am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the crystal kingdom. You got to get up and move and meditate and transform. I journey within to meet my higher self and to find my true happiness I love myself and others unconditionally and nurture loving relationships. You got to nurture the relationships you got. Number 17, and Archangel Michael said, I am grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings to my life. Yeah, Archangel Michael, he comes and brings uh, all this goodness into your life. You know it? Let me see what this says for you today. Virgo, I've got two decks here together. What is it that my Virgos need to know today, Spirit Guides? I think I got it. Something I wasn't supposed to have. I do. I gotta get it. Gotta get them out. Okay, I got them out. Hold it, cause them goes right there. All right. What is it that my Virgos need to know today, Spirit Guides? Spirit of Air. You need to go outside in the air today and just breathe in the nice, fresh air. Maybe you live around the Blue Ridge Mountains. Huh? Be grateful for. Be grateful today just for the air you breathe, Virgo. That's the way I see that card. Miracles is just going to come out of the air. And looky here. I thank you, spirit guides. Look here. Medicine woman, medicine man. See, your Indian heritage, if... If you have Indian heritage or you believe the Indians in the way they practice, um, you you might have back in them in that day and time you was a medicine woman, a medicine man, you healed people. You, your great ancestors are helping you at the moment, looky there. And maybe a lot of birds has been coming around. They've been directing your path and telling you just keep going forward. You're doing great. Whatever you've been doing, keep it up, okay? That's what it's been saying. Your ancestors help you. And out in the air, they'll help you more out in Mother Nature, I'm telling you. And especially if you get around water, you'll start picking up and sensing um, what your ancestors are saying to you. I think you got an abundant lineage inside yourself. And then here we have 17 again. Remember, 17 while ago. I seen it in, that, in my other cards. Here we got crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. See? That's why them uh, ravens and crows come around your house. Because you're co-creating co, co with the universe at the moment. 
your ancestors. And uh, that's funny because crows always come around here at my house. <laughs> and I do know a Virgo or two. Oh, this is about tracker. Look, crow spirit tracker. Maybe you used to um, help track people out back in the old days. But I think what it's saying, they is a, they somebody that you're not aware of, Virgo, and they, they, uh, they've created a tracker to, might be, somebody might be tracking you at the moment. Now, that might not go for you, Virgo, but it might for another Virgo, so keep that in mind, what I just said. But I think back in the old days, I think these, uh, your ancestors, they track you everywhere you go. It doesn't matter where you're at. Your ancestors are helping you all the time. And and wasp spirit came out and it said, sometimes life stings. Yep, we all get stung sometimes in life. Somebody hurts us to the core. And we just got to learn to forgive that. Forgive and don't let that old energy attach or it'll stay in your life and in your house all the time. Remember that. So it says, uh, spirit of air, sometimes life stings. Yeah, it's like, you know, like we all breathe air, we all get stung. Do you understand that? It, that that's plain and simple, spirit said. Yeah, plain and simple. Everybody gets hurt. Then we have bee spirit. So wasp or bee come out. So bee spirit said, sweet results await you. So when you see us honeybee, number seven may be of importance. When you see that little honeybee, um, expect... A miracle. Sweet results await. You had to go through that stinging part to come out this new emerged per being. This this healer that you're meant to be. You earth angel healer. Prayer feathers. You need to put you some prayer feathers up. Or maybe you have a feather tree like I do. And that, that gives up uh, our prayers to our ancestors. We need to pray to our ancestors, okay? Your ancestors is always watching over you. You're safe. Spirit keeper of the north. So maybe you live where it's really cold. Maybe you live in the north, in like North America somewhere. Maybe you live in Alaska somewhere where it's really cold. But I think it's just saying uh, maybe uh, your ancestors that you're co-creating at the moment with, they was from the north this tribe, this tribe of ancestors. But it might be saying North Tracker. I don't know what that means. Keeper of the North Tracker. I have no, I, I don't know. Maybe, you, but it says unknown territory. Maybe you're getting to go, you're, you're going to go somewhere new. Maybe you're going to go out west and look at the Grand Canyon. Oh, I love it, Virgo. And if you're going to do something like that, you tell me. And 1313 Fox Spirit, think on your feet. Yeah, you need to be a little clever sometimes and think on your feet. Looky there, number 27 may be of importance. So, um, maybe you used to track foxes long ago, or maybe it's saying, uh, these foxes was telling you to, uh, be aware, be more aware and start thinking, thinking on your feet. Think for yourself. That's what it's saying. Okay. I'm trying to think of what else to tell you all. I'm going to do these right here. <laughs> these messages. Excuse my dog. It's like our talk and we're going over something right now at the moment. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. And these cards will be flipped there which way, but I'll turn them around. They're just oracle messages. Okay. Spirit guides, can you please give us a clear, concise message today? Hang on a minute, and then I'm going to pull it out here and I'll read it to us. Woo, it flipped in the floor. Ancestors. Hang on a minute, you guys. I 
Okay, so here's what it's saying, Virgos. It says, shine your light, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. You're, you, the angels love you and keep shining your light. Keep shining your light because you send out unconditional love. You have the Divine Mother with you. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. Sometimes. Maybe someone that you love more than anything, uh, uh, they didn't uh, appreciate you and they hurt you time and time again. And Spirit said you deserve unconditional love. And then here we have Lapis Lazuli, life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Lapis Lazuli, you need to get you that beautiful blue right there. And that's the sword truth. And then here we have um, the miracle of prayer. Thank you, Sandalophon, for delivering my prayers to heaven. So, so all you got to do is pray to the angels, and they'll take your prayers to heaven. That's how they get there. And a sweet results await you. When you pray about this, a sweet result, you're going to understand what you need to do. Heightened to the intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. Lean on your intuition, Moonstone. Maybe you need to go out in the night and send out prayers in the nighttime. Because right here is birds above it. It'll, you, they'll carry your messages right on up to the sky and then these angels will deliver them to God. That's what it said. Study and learning. Thank you angels for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. You're learning new things every day daily. That's what you do. You gotta always be a student. Larimar. Sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self care and gentleness. You need to be gentle with yourself, okay, Virgo, and love yourself. And you might need to get you some Larimar if you feel a lot of sensitive emotions at the moment. It's just because you're, you're co-creating with spirit world, you understand? And then it says, new beginnings. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. So you're ready for this new beginning, this new you walking into the spiritual world. Maybe you're going off on a new a new career, a new path a, with a new person or with yourself, just whatever it is. Embrace that new change. Then we have gold, divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. If you're sincere with your prayers, God always answers them. And that's why it said earlier, it said, uh, it said miracles. Remember, miracles. Miracles and then this gold uh, divine intervention uh, this tracker and this fox Made you have to think on your feet all the time and divine intervention happened when you pray about it It divine inter intervention is going to take place and then you'll be able to transform You have to do it with a friend loving heart. It done told you. Thank you Zad Kill for supporting me to transform from my past challenges I think what it's saying, go in this new door and don't go back to that old way of being and thinking. It's trapped in that old shit to where you always had to think on your feet. Just go with the flow. Just let just let it go with the flow, Virgo, okay? Now I'm going to do a tarot message for you. Let's see what it says today, okay? Tarot message for the collective. What is it that me and the collector need to know today, spirit guides? Please and thank you very much. Material trouble. So, it said sometimes life stings. Remember that wasp or spirit? Maybe you're going through uh, uh, material trouble at the moment. You're feeling left out. You're feeling left out of something, uh, but maybe karma struck you. We all have our time at the bottom of the wheel, but it says material gain. So all this material trouble you had to go through, Virgo, you, you, this is your energy, nine of pentacles right here, single, uh, stability, um, independent business. 
So uh, all this material trouble is getting ready to wash away. You're getting ready to gain that money right back to you, and it's going to come. It's going to come real soon. Oh, and in here we got Queen of Pentacles, and this is Sagittarius and Virgo, double Virgo energy. That's what Queen of Pentacles is in this deck. And there's a little goat, or is that a little lamb? No, there's a little goat or a ram below this woman right here, and it looks like there's a ram. There's a ram head right here with angel wings above this Queen of Pentacles, and you know, ram and goat, if you think about that, that's the devil energy. You understand what I'm saying? Um, you had to let go of, and then this queen of pentacles, she's holding the pentacle in her hand, and her staff has a crystal on it. And um, this is about, you know, being wealthy in the spiritual and the physical that's what it's that's what it means so you're going to be wealthy in the spiritual and the physical realm uh that's what it's saying at the moment or you might have been worried about you couldn't provide like for your partner or something and and they they've been building something but you and them build it together uh maybe you funded this money virgo and it's all going to come back to you because because you're all balanced, and that's why God's going to bring it to you and your partner, okay? If you have a partner. And then here we have Dominion, and we have Two of Wands. So maybe um, you had a choice to make. All right. Maybe it's whoever is other. Maybe somebody has, you felt like this... Uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn might have had a might have had another choice. That might be what it's saying. Hang on a minute, and I'll tell you. And then it says Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest movie knight in the deck. And there's a deer with or an elk with angel wings above this knight's head right here. <coughs> so someone has been holding back an offer, a slow offer and this is leo and double virgo is knight of pentacles so this is your energy virgo so you've been slow like slow with bringing forth this offer to someone oh no at queen of pentacles that was sagittarius and double uh double Is that Scorpio or something? Yep. At that, sorry, at Queen of Hills was at Sagittarius and Double Scorpio. Sorry. But this is your energy. Uh, maybe you feel like this uh, woman has dominion over... Has dominion over this opportunity. Uh, and then we have the Emperor. You know, and this is loving Father who takes care of his family he has a lot of wealth a business owner so maybe uh and leadership that's showing leadership skills maybe it, it's been a slow a slow change i think that's what it's saying i think it's been a slow change for you to come into this leadership role it's been a slow change and you've had to sacrifice a lot you've had you know like You've you've invested a lot of money in this, you you know what I mean, and and you feel like it's it's worthy, and uh, you're like, well, I I know that I I've got my I I I, I try to stay balanced. That's what it's saying. You 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 are balanced, you know. I think you've been you've been waiting and on a on this slow opportunity. Of becoming a leader it's been real slow but it's coming it's coming don't doubt it virgo oh and then we got material work see uh you maybe you or your partner they lost out on a lot of money in this uh in this job that they used to be in yep 
and then here we got abundance and then here we have the star so so what it's saying is hang on let me go ahead and pull out the rest Ooh, the emperor and the empress. So what it's saying is, uh, there's been a lot of material trouble coming to you, uh, Virgo. They was trying to place you feeling in that lack and loss freaking energy. That's what it is, Virgo. You and your partner, they wanted you to feel in loss if you have a partner. And if you don't, they just wanted you to feel that. But there's a material gain is coming to you because it, it's destined. And that's uh, Virgo Moon, material gain. And abundance is coming to you. Abundance is coming uh, and celebrations in the community. It could be coming. Um, because you did a lot of hard work for it, you know. You did a, hot, a lot of hard work for it. And uh, you and this, this star is the Queen of Pentacles. She's balanced in her spiritual and her, uh, with her money. She, she knows how to balance things out because she's the star. She's the star. You know, you're the star. Uh, but, uh, somebody tried to have total dominion or somebody might have had a choice in love. And, uh, maybe that energy might have been around still. And it was making uh, you and this person feel disappointment. Or they was trying to make this person feel disappointment. They was trying to make maybe both of you all, you and your lover, feel disappointed. Uh, but it might just be saying uh, somebody was bored. Either the emperor or the empress. Or maybe you both just got bored with each other. Maybe you both just got bored with each other because maybe you're married. That's why Queen of Pentacles pulled out with Empress and Star. And Emperor pulled out. And Knight of Pentacles pulled out with him. Slow moving. Uh, but Empress, you're someone who uh, is, you're birthing your dreams into life. I think that you're balanced in your masculine and feminine side, Virgo, if you're worried about it. You and your partner. Because look, all this material work, uh, uh, you, you, all this work you've been doing, you're very abundant and you share your love, okay? That's what it's saying. You, 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 you share your knowledge and your love and, and, and you might donate money a lot and stuff, but you're, you feel abundance with this star. You love this star and, and, uh, you're wanting always, uh, down bored, bored shit to go away from your empress. Don't worry, emperor, it is. And uh, material trouble, they wanted, they was trying to place you and your person in this lack, but material gain is coming to you because you're all, uh, you're all a married, balanced couple. Y'all have great energy and these people can't have dominion. These people can't have dominion over your opportunities because you're a leader and they're trying to take leadership over over your life you and your partners in this unknown territory that you're all doing huh that's what it said judgment look archangel michael or gabriel whichever one that is they're up there blowing the horn dun 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 dun, dun. yep judgment and this is scorpio you know this is endings so who all placed judgment upon you all in your situation, uh, well, the, the ending is coming back to them. And I see a tooth right here. A tooth, and I don't know what that is above it. I never figured that out. Roots. People was judging you and your family, your all's roots, what you felt stability and grounded in, people place judgment upon you. That's what it's saying. But the angels call judgment on this situation. So don't worry, Virgo. It's all coming to you, baby. It is all coming to you. And you're going to feel pleasure. You're going to feel pleasure again.
you're going to feel pleasure and whoever is king of cups is that's just in and out probably they have in and out motions they're all about earthly power four, four of pentacles that's all they're about earthly power uh or it could be this king of pentacles you feel pleasure with the person you love and all this earthly power shit you're not into that you're like uh you're you're a provider you're a provider and uh these people was wanting you to abandon success and it was whoever his queen of wands was or king of wands around they was just wanting to set fire to what you all had built and uh you used your intuition that's why queen of cups come out to work through all this strife and to live in your north node that's what it's saying yep you're t this is about We all have to go through towers in life, but it's supposed to make us be courageous enough to go after what makes us happy. We gotta have a lot of strength to bring this this pinnacle. We gotta have a lot of strength to bring this giant pinnacle. That's what it's saying. But I don't know, Virgo. I hope that helps you today, Virgo. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. But that's what I got for y'all. And I love you very much. And remember to hit that subscribe bell and hit all so you'll be notified every time I upload here on YouTube. I love you guys. Peace.